सो हेलो एंड वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू आवर चैनल एंट्रो मैक एंड हियर वी डिस्कस अबाउट बेसिक मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग कॉन्सेप्ट्स सो इन आवर प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ द मोटर सिलेक्शन प्लेज ए इंपॉर्टेंट रोल एंड हाउ वी कैन यूज ओरिएंटल मोटर साइजिंग टूल टू फाइंड आउट द इनपुट पैरामीटर्स फॉर द मोटर बट इन मेनी एप्लीकेशंस वी कैन नॉट डायरेक्टली कपल द मोटर टू द सिस्टम वी हैव टू पुट ए गियर बॉक्स एट द आउटपुट ऑफ द मोटर and the gearbox output is connected to the system so that's why the gearbox selection uh, also plays a important role and the motor and the gearbox have to be selected while considering all the parameters they should be selected simultaneously so that's why the knowledge of uh, gearbox is also important so without wasting time let's see how we can select a gearbox so this is our applications we have already uh, seen this application in our previous video we have a indexer over here and we want to rotate it so we have a driving shaft and here uh, we have a gearbox right so we have a motor and then we have a gearbox so we have to see that which kind of uh, gearbox we should use because again you can see here there are different types of uh, gearbox uh, available in the market and how we can select that gearbox it depends on the your gear reduction ratio and the output ta or torque which you are getting because gear reduction ratio according to the gear reduction ratio uh, you can see here there is a helical geared motor bevel geared motor then worm gear motor so based on your reduction ratio you have to go for these different configurations because each type of gearbox has some limitations of reduction right so the worm gear has highest uh, possible gear reduction right but again if you want very high uh, gear reduction then again there is a combination of say worm and bevel gear or some other combination is there so according to the applications we have to Uh, go for uh, these these gear boxes right so let's see uh, how we can select so these were our inputs from the previous calculations right we have got these values from the oriental motor sizing tool just check out my previous session and you will come to know that how these values uh, how we have arrived to these values right so these are the inputs now here is our motor right so here is my motor and uh, if i consider a simple induction motor the rpm of the motor is 1400 right at standard frequency 50 hertz we can vary this uh, rpm with the help of vfd that is variable frequency drive it changes the frequency it reduces the frequency and we can reduce the output rpm of the motor but again there are limitations we cannot go to very low frequency right so that's why if you see here our required speed is 5 rpm and my uh, motor output rpm is 1400 so i cannot directly couple this to my system so that's why we require the gearbox the motor output shaft will be connected to the gearbox input and then there is gear reduction then the speed reduction will be happening over here and then we will get the output at the gearbox output which is my n2 uh, 5 rpm n1 was my motor input that is nothing but the gearbox input and then uh, my required torque output is also uh, we will get at the gearbox output shaft right so uh, let's see what is the gear reduction uh, ratio here so uh, let's say i is the gear reduction ratio so 1400 divided by uh, let's say 5 so we have to reduce the speed by 280 times so that is the requirement of the system right now here uh, it is very important thing you should know when you reduce the speed by 280 times your torque will also get multiplied 
by 280 times right so if I want 1.7 Newton meter at this location at the gearbox output the motor output can be 280 times lesser than this I, are you getting my point that means 1.7 divided by 280 that means this much of torque is required at the motor output so we can select the motor which is very small in size having very less power uh, value say very less wattage right because the torque is going to get multiplied by 280 times because we are reducing the speed so torque will get multiplied because speed and torque are inversely proportional the power is nothing but the multiplication of torque and your angular velocity right so this is very important uh, uh, factor that you should know and then there are different gearbox manufacturers and according to these different manufacturers there are different uh, types available right so we have bonfig leoli nidex shampoo then zero drive sumitomo so these are different manufacturers available into uh, the market right so let's see some of uh, the tools so let's see a tool offered by Bonfiglioli which is called as Bonfiglioli Mosaico so type Bonfiglioli Mosaico and then you can see here Mosaico Bonfiglioli click on that and a window will open up so here uh, is the site and you can see a small video over here in that video they have mentioned about the different product catalogs and what are the features of this tool so let's have a look uh, let's have a quick look of this video and it is very uh, useful you can watch this video also they have mentioned uh, what are the advantages of this mosaic tool and uh, what are the things they have given in this tool you can see technical specification torque ranges digital catalogs uh, all we have over here uh, then uh, then configurator is there which we are going to see right then gearbox flange motor you can attach to that then you can give the color uh, to the system so all these things are available into this software right so this is all uh, about this video let's see the configurator and all those things and how we can uh, configure with this tool right so just log in into the site if you don't have uh, uh, the details just register for uh, free it's a free site I have already registered so you can see welcome Monoj over there right so we have now entered into this tool and we have two options like product selector and configurator both of these options are a little bit different right uh, so uh, in product uh, selector we select the product according to the uh, different input values and in the configurator uh, we configure the actual model here you could see shop by category on the left side right so they have mentioned uh, different uh, all the different options available on the left side you could see gear units then gear motors then high precision planetary systems uh, in some applications high precision is required right so let's go for the gear units so as soon as you hit on the gear units you can see all the different categories or all the different series available uh, on this uh, bone figlioli so we will go again for inline parallel and right angle we go for inline right so it will remove all other factors all other uh, categories and now this is the series like we will go for a, a series if you go sometimes it gives error so just go back and again hit click so here uh, there are uh, a series we have entered into that we have to put uh, some input parameters and it will give us the configuration and finally uh, the 3d data we can get so this is uh, about the configurator now important is product selector so let's see product selector what it is so it will ask you what kind of thing you are looking for gear motors gear units we are looking for so select gear units and we have uh, two 
options are again here like product series whether you want to go for product series or technical specifications we have technical specifications so let's hit on that right so as soon as you hit you could see here uh, the different options the system measurement they have given empirical uh, imperial unit we will go for a metric unit and all other things here uh, right so we can input uh, the parameters over here so what is the rated output uh, torque what is the output torque we require is 1.7 newton meter right so power options will get automatically uh, vanished then input speed uh, motor we know 1400 uh, right that is the motor output that is input to the gearbox right then the output speed uh, that is the output speed of the gearbox our requirement is 5 rpm right uh, so it will automatically calculate the gear ratio then service factor uh, uh, we can put uh, uh, 1.5 uh, that is the service factor over there and you can see configuration update successful please review changes to configuration right and at the end uh, on the bottom side uh, you can have a reset configuration and uh, you have view result option right so you can go for the view result option and it will show what are the available motors are there uh, gearboxes are there right so this is about a brief about uh, the bonfiglioli mosaic tool and you can uh, search and deep dive into this site more to get more details right then uh, even if you don't have a tool with the help of catalogs and all those things also you can uh, say select uh, your motor so that is also important that you should read the documents uh, because there is a lot of data available in the uh, documents right so this is about the mosaic let's uh, see now how we can uh, read the catalogs and what data these uh, gearbox catalogs have right so uh, we will uh, see now uh, the bone figlioli uh, product catalog right so the bone figlioli here you can see industrial catalog is there and they have mentioned all the uh, product ranges over here right because on the uh, right so we have a helical and well gear motors worm planetary so all these things have different series you can see that a series is for helical like for worm gear that is vf and then they have given the description for each uh, series which type of it is then uh, which subtype gives how much torque and all other different parameters right so it is very important to read these documents you should first read uh, these catalogs so that you can get an idea that which uh, which subtype I require according to your reduction ratio right so you can go for uh, that catalog right so let's say if we are um, end up into a helical gear series so we can go for the helical uh, series catalog right and uh, then we can see in the catalog they have given the abbreviations and what are their descriptions because these are the symbols they are going to use in their catalog then they have given some calculations and all those stuff so that is also important if you are interested you can read out all those parameters right so let's see now uh, what the catalog contains here so here uh, you could see the designation also uh, they have mentioned that what is the meaning of each term uh, into the code so that will vary uh, according to your supplier uh, if you go for sumitomo the code will be different uh, right but you should know that what are the requirements what i should be knowing while selecting a gear box right so in the catalog again if you go down uh, downwards now here uh, you could see right so on the top uh, let's see here so yeah so on the top you can see the motor uh, power they have given right so the motor power will be like 0.09 kilowatt so that is the input to this uh, gearbox uh, so this gearbox for this specific code and then the n2 is output speed m2 is the torque right 
the output torque s is the service factor then i is your output in the gear ratio and rn2 is the reaction because this is a helical system so there will be some reaction so that is also they have mentioned in the catalog right so in this catalog you should look out for your gear ratio then for that gear ratio uh, we can see the how much output rpm it is giving what is the service factor it is offering uh, so that's how you can see the catalog and here the power of the motor is increasing right so you can also go for a higher uh, rated mo uh, motor so according to that the output values will change right so you have to look for both the motor also so that's why i said initially that this motor and gearbox go hand by hand right so if this is uh, another catalog so this is like uh worm gear catalog so again in uh, the same case they they have mentioned all the other parameters right and you can uh, look out for your your requirement like i require 300 gear ratio i require a thousand gear ratio and according to that you can see uh, the uh, motor values also uh, what is my motor input what kind of motor i uh, have because sometimes it happens that uh, you you don't have a very low wattage motor but you have a motor of say some higher range in your stock so at that time you are going to use that motor so uh, how it will affect your system so uh, that is why it is very important to check out for all these different parameters that are available uh, into this catalog also so just read uh, these catalogs before selecting uh, the gearbox and for each uh, different manufacturer they have different catalogs and all those things so you have to uh, read those catalogs and then only you can know the meanings of uh, the different terminologies they have been they are using in their catalogs so i think uh, that's it uh, for our today's uh, session and I hope you understood the importance of uh, the mm, parameters uh, the input parameters your system how it is going to use you should know and uh, you should calculate the gear ratio and according to that you can search for your gearbox right so if you have any uh, doubts or queries please uh, feel free to write down into the comment section and uh, we can discuss over there so until then stay home stay happy and thank you for the patient listening thank you